Okay folks, now what we're going to do is put the carburetor back on. Oh, we've got to put the spacer plate on first. So we'll just put that on there and we've got to hook up our uh, heater bypass holes. Oops, got to get this over here. Then we got to tighten down the heater hose. So I'll just hold that while you tighten it down. It's always good to have an extra set of hands around to help out. Yep, yeah, for sure. You got the rag there? Yeah. You so what you want to do is just wipe this off again, make sure it's good and clean so we don't get any vacuum leaks. Now just check the base of the carburetor, which is this part. It was make sure it's wiped off good. And now we can place the carburetor on. Oh, we've got to put the gasket on first. Very important. Yeah, otherwise we'll have a vacuum leak for a very bad. You won't have any vacuum to run the engine properly or have any power brakes. Now we'll just put the uh, car carburetor on. There we go. And then now you got to do is just put all your lines on. Hook up your linkages. So this linkage here, it just snaps on. That's for your gas pedal, and then your transmission kick down linkage goes on right beside it. And we have a clip for that. We've got a clip that we're gonna snap it on with. Okay. And it just goes on like so. Okay, and then we got to hook up our gas uh, supply. Our spring here as well. Your spring. Oh, I'll clip this off. Okay, your spring to number one. And this would be. Now, where did we put all our wrenches? There. Oh, here we go. So what we gotta do is tighten down the gas gas linkage. Okay. Make sure you're dead straight there. Next thing I got to do is hook up our uh, air cleaner post. Then we got another little vacuum line that we got to hook up onto the side of the carburetor.
and that's about it for hooking up a carburetor so we won't do bore you too much by showing the whole procedure but it just gives you basically how you uh, hook up a uh, change a carburetor over on a uh, carbureted powered car okay have a good day now bye bye